All right, guys, it's been about 15 minutes, so we're gonna open up our mountain house here and see what it tastes like. So let me get you guys stocked. Stocked. Hmm. Not used to that being backwards. It's interesting. Take the rubber band, go over the top, and bam, bam. Try to spread this out a little. Sorry. I know. I just really don't have a very good system for doing stuff like this. All right. There we go. Since that's, I'm assuming you guys can see me since that light's right in my eye. Okay, packaging, still pretty warm. Uh, everything feels mushy. That's a good sign. Oh. Uh, can't wait to see what this looks like. Wow, it actually, it looks, it looks good. I mean, I, you guys all know I'm not super, super picky, but it looks pretty uh, tasty. I, I, I gotta show you. See, see, you guys can see that? I think it looks pretty tasty. Uh, let me turn off this. That's bothering, bothering me a little. Wow. Kind of reminds me of the way, it would actually kind of reminds me of the way it looks like some of the stuff looks out of the uh, MREs. But this actually looks better. Wow, chunks of meat. I'm actually surprised. There's chunks of meat. It's not spicy or anything. I'm just needing some water. Chunks of meat. The beans and everything seems like it hydrated real, real good. That is tasty. That is tasty. I mean, the consistency is perfect. The meat's good, the noodles all rehydrated. I mean, hmm. That's quite good. I have to be honest. <laughs> I'm actually kind of shocked. I didn't expect it to be that good. This is great. Well, Another thing, another reason I'm putting my bag together is, um, I, sometimes I do, uh, when I have days off, right now I don't have any days off, which is fine, I'm getting the extra money for buying toys for my bag, but, uh, when I have days off, I, uh, sometimes I, I go and work, uh, doing construction, or, you know, general contracting stuff, or whatever, um, uh, basically I'm a laborer, but, But, um, the last few times I've done it, uh, I, well, I have family and they go and they say, hey, we need this done or we need that done. Or, you need, we need to run, you need to run a, a rock hammer for, or a, a rock drill for so many hours or, or, you know, hit it, it would take a rock, you know, what is that called? What am I trying to say? A rock bar, you know, and sit there and smash up the, the concrete and stuff. And, um, uh, I'll do it occasionally just get a couple extra bucks. And, uh, sorry, it's probably rude that I'm eating and it's just good. <laughs> um, but I'll do that occasionally. And sometimes I'll, since I don't have a, sometimes I don't have a bag in my car or I forget to have a bag in my car, I'll take off, I'll, I'll get my ice chest and everything ready. I'll take off there thinking in my head, I'm going to be coming back here later tonight. Well, Sometimes we won't accomplish everything we were supposed to accomplish that day, and they need me to come back the second day. And I, you know, to save gas for me and them being family, they just let me crash there at their house. And uh, I've noticed the last two times I've done this, me not thinking, uh, I didn't have any extra clothes, I didn't have a toothbrush, I didn't have toothpaste, I didn't have, you know, I didn't have nothing, you know. I was just stupid. It was just, it was dumb. So that's another reason I'm putting this bag together is so I always have something in the back of the car to, no matter what situation. And a lot of people, 
they think prepper or or uh, or a prepared person or whatever they 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 think oh you got a bug out bag or you got a get home bag or you got an emergency bag you're crazy and uh i don't know maybe they're true but uh that's not really what my bag's for my bag is for it's in the back and I may have to go to work. I may get a, a, a different kind of security thing, and it might be short notice, which that's happened before to me too, where you'll get a short notice, hey, we need an extra guard for da-da-da-da-da, and you just pretty much have to grab your gear and go. Well, you don't know what, you know, sometimes you don't know what the jobs are. You don't know if, you know, you're, there's going to be food there. You don't know if there's going to... I've had jobs that you literally go out in the middle of nowhere and guard um, nothing. I mean, it's like a little fenced-in area, and they don't want something stupid like the walkway, like their copper wiring or something like that. It's um, and they'll be out in the middle of, excuse me, nowhere, and you didn't realize that because, you know, the things gets rushed and nobody really explains anything to you. So, you know, that's why I have my bag. That's why I, you know, I like having a bag. I probably won't be doing that too often anymore, but uh. You know, it's just stuff like that. It's, you know, just having a couple extra things, you know, an extra pair of clothes, an extra toothbrush, you know. Simple stuff like that. So, um, that's why I don't really classify this as a bug out bag, a get home bag, a anything. I just kind of a, an emergency prepared bag, you know, just, it's going to have a set of, you know, it's going to have an extra set of clothes. It's going to have an extra shirt in it. It's going to have some a thermal layer. It's going to have some socks. Um, I'm going to keep my pair of boots, you know, my extra, because I have some Converse, uh, I don't know what, side zip, high, high side zip boots. And I don't wear them too often anymore, but I'm going to keep them because they are very, uh, these are what I was wearing when I was doing a lot of foot patrols. And I would literally be doing a 10 hour foot patrol or a 12 hour foot patrol. And these, you know, wearing my duty belt and my vest and all that crap, these were super comfortable. They were mo more comfortable than the Rockies, the Rocky boots I have. Um, if you look at my video, Work DC video, you'll see that I had Rocky boots. And, um, they were kind of more comfortable than that. So, you know, that's that's my reasoning. That That's it, guys. You know, just, uh, it's not, uh... Wow. It's like, you may see sunny skies out there right now, but you, in the back of your mind, you're thinking, you know, maybe I should bring a sweater. Maybe I should bring a jacket just uh, just in case. So that kind of thinking isn't crazy. You're just, you know, it's just in case. It's just, and that's what this bag is. It's my just in case bag. It's, uh, it's my, oh, you know what? I forgot that. And, you know, I could really, I'm kind of hungry and, you know, I didn't have, you know, granted, I always have, usually have money on me. <laughs> I can't say always. I usually have money on me. Um, but it's like, hey, I want a snack. And sometimes my wife, she, she's too tired or she's had a long day. And, you know, sometimes she'll come home and she just falls asleep. And I can't really, I need to go out in the yard and do my thing. And I can't go in the house and cook. So um, I maybe I could just, you know, have a couple extra cup of noodles in there. No, something like that. I don't have to eat them out in house. I mean, these things are like seven fifty a, a pack. I don't want to, you know, use them up if I don't have to. Um, you know, throw a cup of noodle in there, and then you know, oh, I got a little snack. I just take my jet boil out. I don't even gotta go back to the house. I can do it out here. So, you know, it, it's just uh, my thinking. That's just uh, that's the reason why I do this stuff, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And everybody's situation is different, and everybody has different gear, and. Um, you may be in warm climate, you may be in cold climate, you may be tall, you may be small, you may be short, you may be fat. Um, when it comes to gear, you just have to pick what's right for you. Uh, what what you think is going to work, some stuff might work for you, some stuff might not. You might spend a couple bucks thinking, you know, making, trying to figure that out. So, um, I'm going to I'm gonna make this bag work for me. Uh, I don't want to go much bigger than this unless I was going to go with an external frame uh, uh, pack like a uh, main preppers uh ruck pack oh my god dude that thing's awesome uh that would be my that would be that'd be a sweet bag to have um so that's it i'm gonna finish my mountain house 
have some water and uh, pack this, put the stuff all back in the bag and 